Hello YouTube, this is Patrick. This is my review of Breaking Bad Season 5 premiere. Uh, the final season of the show. I'm wearing a Heisenberg shirt. Well, alright, let's see if I can stand up here. It's, uh, basically it's Heisenberg, Indiana Jones kind of shirt. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, I've had a few drinks, so I'm going to be a little more animated probably than normal. Um, it was a great premiere. I, uh, you know... It's my, my favorite show on TV, and it lived up to it. Uh, that's when you know a show is good, when you just you watch it, and it lives up to whatever hype you have for it. Um, it hit the ground running, um, and it didn't stop to the end. It was just a great, tense hour of TV. That's what Breaking Bad is, a tense hour of television with great drama. That's Breaking Bad, and that's what it was tonight. Um, just right from the beginning, I, I was hoping for a flash forward for the opening, and we got it. Um, just when he started playing with like the bacon in the beginning, um, I knew exactly what he was doing, and I was just like, "Let's see, you know," because he's 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 only fifty on the show. They never got to his fifty-first birthday, um, and this said fifty-two. So we know that whatever happens this season, he's gonna you know he's gonna get to the point where he has to change his name, he has to move to New Hampshire, and he has to buy a machine gun for some kind of showdown that is coming. We don't know if that's coming at the end of these first eight episodes or toward the end. Who cares? Who gives a shit? We just know it's coming. And um, and like I said, kind of in the preview that I did for this, all his acting like an asshole, which he did this episode, is going to come back and bite him. Mike said it. Mike knew it. He was telling Jesse about it. You know, just, you know, let go of this guy and you can't. Uh, or Jesse couldn't. And um, it's just going to bite him in the ass completely. Um... So I love the opening for all. I'm not going to really discuss what I think is going to happen. I have absolutely no idea. And I don't care that I have no idea. I just know it's going to be fantastic because I trust these writers. And um, and they've earned that. So, uh, so yeah. Um, also, before I get into the rest of the episode, there was no Marie this episode and very little Walter Jr. And I've said this before. This is because the writers understand that we don't need... We didn't need Marie. Who Who needed Marie this episode to, you know... Um, show off whatever new purple dress she's wearing or whatever. And Walter Jr. was talking to Walt for a little bit. But we didn't need them, so they didn't show it. And it's nothing against the characters. We just, you know, it wasn't important. Um, uh, before, I guess, I get into the Walt and, um, and Jesse stuff, I probably should talk about Skylar first. Um, I'm trying to think if there's someone else before Skylar that I should get to. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just talking about Skylar. Um... Skylar, for me, like I said, again, is a much more sympathetic. Um, she's deserving of the things that have happened to her, at least with the Ted stuff. Because that was, you know, some of it was her fault. I know it was Walt's fault, too. But but still, she's so much more sympathetic now than she was at the beginning of the show. And uh, that's great. That's awesome. Um, and she, you know, she's terrified of him. And uh, I'll get to the final scene of the show, I guess, at the end of this. Um, but that fear was clearly there at the end of the final scene. It really was kind of very similar to the, the you know, the early on in the, in the episode where she's there with, um, with the baby and with Walt, and she tells him she's afraid. Um, the stuff with Ted, and when Saul came in and said Ted was alive, no, I, I honestly, I didn't think Ted was alive. Uh, I thought he broke his neck. And the one thing I do like about it is everyone online has been bitching about, like, you know, how, how stupid it was that, you know, Ted died that way. Well, he didn't die that way. He just broke his neck. Um, and uh, I'll say that entire scene where she walked into the hospital and she just stood there. And they didn't, they waited and waited to reveal what Ted looked like. It was just awful. It was so tense and, and you know, like, God, what's wrong? What happened to this guy? The reveal of what Ted looks like was, I think, one of the most chilling things the show has done. And that is saying something for this show. Um, it was, to be honest, you know, the prologue I was of the show, I was just happy, elated that we got to see something like that. But that moment with Ted was like my first holy shit of the, of the episode. Um, and in fact, I, I think it actually was the best scene of the episode. Um... Because the Walt and Jesse and Mike stuff is really more, almost felt like more comedic relief to that. I mean, when you think about it, too, like, um, just how awful that scene was and how afraid Ted was of her and um, of what she would do. And she, you know, turned it on what, you know, what her husband would do. Um, 
But yeah, Skylar's arc this season is going to be very interesting because it's, she's got to really make a choice of how bad she's going to break. She sees how bad it can be with her husband and she sees, you know, some kind of power that she has in the first episode. So we'll see what, you know, what she's going to do. Um, but yeah, let's see, I guess, uh, I guess we'll just get into it. Um, uh, I love Mike being back, by the way, and, um... You know what, no, wait, you know, let me just go through it, I guess, chronologically. Um, Walt coming home. By the way, I haven't mentioned this in my previous stuff. The shows work with color. Just what the actors wear and the color in the scene is just awesome. When Walt got home um, and he's sitting in the room and Skyler left, you know, after just kind of dismissing him, he's sitting in the room wearing, like, the darkest colors in the room. The room is lit, not very very light, but, like, he was just so obviously, like, dark in like the clothing he was wearing um that uh just i just love the use of color on the show but um him standing up and just saying shit was uh was very very funny because you know he's someone that covers all bases and it, these are questions that fans would ask at the beginning of you know last season like well, what about the cameras what about you know what about the uh the chemistry the um you know the, the bomb making that he left in the kitchen what about the plant and all of that was covered in this episode. It's just covered, you know, completely. And uh, I love how they use the cameras as a problem. You know, with Hank walking in. Oh, I guess Hank, uh, I should mention Hank. Um, uh, just walking in the meth lab and I was uh, he was looking up. I was like, the cameras, you know, that's the problem. And uh, I like how they just made it, you know, the, the problem of this hour of, uh, of their show. And it was just resolved. Um... But it just shows how close Hank was, and how close, and how he is going to feel that Heisenberg was not caught, that it wasn't, you know, uh, it wasn't Gus. Uh, so that works. That works fine. Um, but um, yeah. So anyway, you know, Walt, you know, basically you know, notifies Jesse what's going on, and they cross paths with Mike. A uh, beautifully filmed scene, by the way, in the desert with um, they digital graded the color. I guess it looks like. Um, which I always love when they do that, and, um, it looked fantastic. Um, and just the humor in it. Again, the humor, again, another great thing about the show, the, uh, the universal sign for keys, um, was, uh, was great. Um, but yeah, I just love how Mike just knows that Walt is awful, and Jesse just can't see it. And Mike can't get out of it because he owes Jesse. Um, and that's why they went with the whole plan. And the, the whole great scene of Jesse, um, you know, just yelling about the magnet in the background was awesome. Um, it, it, it just felt like a pure Jesse, you know, kind of thing to do. And uh, it just fit with everything we've seen from the show for four years. So it just feels like they're totally in sync with everything that's going on. Um, but uh, also, a nice, it felt like a callback to kind of like the robot line from uh, season two. But, uh, but yeah, but anyway, the whole plan was absolutely ridiculous. It was nice going back to the junkyard, a little nostalgic. I expect they're going to hit a couple of, like, you know, landmark moments, uh, this season, just for nostalgia's sake. Um, but, um, yeah, the whole plan was ridiculous. Um, but somehow, just this side of believable, because, you know, and maybe, even if it's not, even if it's, if it really is, like, completely impossible to actually do in real life the show has earned like it's right to do stuff like that i think and um it didn't feel too ridiculous it felt more comedic and more like you know what what are these three stooges gonna you know you know fuck up um but still it was a lot of fun and um yeah so the evidence evidence was destroyed and everything's fine uh it was extremely tense as we you know as the show would as you would expect from this show um but I love how it was all handled in this hour. Um, and uh, everything with Walt, man. Jesse, they didn't do that much character stuff with Jesse this episode. You know, he was just kind of like there. He came up with the idea for the magnet. And he was kind of happy and just relieved. And that's it. Um, it was more about like Walt and uh, his descent into just, you know, completely Heisenberg. It's there now. He's not, re he's not Walt anymore. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Um... And it was just really chilling to see him telling, you know, Hank, because I said so. And he his just his matter, he's just so sure of himself. He's so sure that he's right. 
and because of the the cold opening the prologue we just know that he's so wrong um you know mike said it's gonna come crashing down and it's going to um i don't know what else i can say about the episode before i get to the ending of it uh, which I heard people were kind of annoyed about that the ending was just kind of um, too abrupt and too just not as good as the rest of the episode. I disagree completely. Um, I thought the ending was appropriately chilling. We've seen scenes like the ending of this episode before in the show with Walt hugging Skylar and lying to her and this and that. Uh, but this time he hugged her and it just, it wasn't Walt hugging her. It was, you know, it was Heisenberg. It was awful. It was, you know, just, it was like some monster was just kind of, you know, pulling her into his embrace and it was just it was horrendous it really was awful to watch and um just absolutely chilling and um i loved every minute of it and i cannot wait to watch next week and i'm so pissed we only get seven more episodes of this until they're gone for another year um but yeah if i left something out i'll try to go through it in the comments i guess i'm trying to think if i did um yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess there was a little, you know, the little address thing was on Gus's, um, one of the Gus, Gus's picture um, with his buddy. By the way, I got it wrong, by the way. Um, the cartel is done. Gus destroyed the rest of the cartel. It looks like we're going to be getting, uh, what is it, the um, the word, because of the name, Madrigal, Madrigal or something like that, which I think is German. Um, so maybe we'll get into some German stuff this year. I don't know. But... Uh, but we'll see, I guess. Uh, fantastic premiere. Exactly what anyone that watches the show should expect. And they got it. And that is everything. Um, everything you can hope for. So, uh, so yeah. That's it for this. Um, I shall be back next week for this. I'll be doing a True Blood video and a little Comic-Con reaction um, later this week. But uh, until then, later.